So this box has been sitting here for quite some time. I ordered it while I was away on vacation in New York and it's just been waiting for me to film. But the wait is over and I am unboxing it right now for you. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to do another brandless unboxing. I'm so excited to open this box. I get excited every time that this box arrives and I hope you guys like them because I love this company so much. I'll probably be sharing a haul or an unboxing once a month here on the channel. So if you guys like Brandless and you like to watch unboxings and you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss when I upload these. But I definitely will be sharing at least one, maybe more depending on how crazy I get with ordering. But I've been ordering and then filling a cart right away. And then once I'm ready and my funds are available, I just push go on the cart and then fill another one. So there always just seems to be like one on reserve waiting for me to go and I I just I've keep continuing to find things that I love and then things that I don't like so I like doing these videos to be able to share with you guys some of the things that I'm trying that I don't like like for example I just tried their mouthwash not a fan uh, it tastes really good when you're like swishing it around and then once you spit it out it has kind of a weird aftertaste so I won't be repurchasing that again but you guys will see that in my empties and I want to mention that now just in case you guys were interested in trying it I raved about it uh, when I opened it um, in my unboxing just because my girlfriend recommended it to me and she said like she keeps putting tons in her cart because they like them so much so I was like all right gotta give it a try right but definitely not for me so I got my box open and I'm anxious to dive in here because when I was ordering these items I had Jacob in mind he has started school by the time you guys have seen this so my thought process was lunches we are back to doing lunches five days a week and this is high school now so I really want to make sure I'm trying to put together a very adult looking lunch for him so I definitely geared a lot of today's items towards Jake so the first thing in my box is this gluten-free pizza crust. So I probably would have never ordered this if somebody didn't tell me how great that this was. So Nicole Burgess purchased this in one of hers and then she made it. She put it on Instagram. She Snapchatted all of us girls in our group and said how amazing that this was. So I immediately went and put it in my cart. Um, this is in the Italian herb flavor, which is I believe the only flavor that they offer. But just in case you guys didn't know, my husband, when he lived up north, that's what he did. He ran a pizzeria for a very long time and then we had a pizzeria here for a while that we ran so he can do the whole flipping and all that good stuff so I love watching him make pizza and we are always on the hunt for a good crust or crust recipe or something like that so I'm anxious to give this a try it is no surprise that we have been addicted to these things, but I noticed the last bag didn't go as fast as the first two. So I think sometimes like you get excited about certain things and then like once the excitement is over, it's kind of over. So I don't know how often I'm going to order these again, maybe just not as often as in every one, but these are the partially popped popcorn and this is the white cheddar flavor, which, oh no, sorry. Just kidding, this is not the white cheddar flavor. This is the new one that was just released that is the like sweet one. So this is caramel and sea salt. So this is supposed to be like a play off of kettle corn, kind of partially pop popcorn. So I'm anxious to actually try the new one. Maybe they'll dig like the sweet version. And then this one is all for me. It is my guilty pleasure. It is the um, dill pickle flavor. I have just been everything pickle lately. Like I, I don't even know what goes on. So next in my box is trail mix. Now trail mix is very expensive. So I do believe that $3 is a, not a bad deal for this size 
pouch. It's probably about five or six bucks at Trader Joe's for something double the size, so it seems comparable. And this is their sweet and salty trail mix. It's peanuts, dark chocolate, raisins, almonds, cashews, and sea salt. And this is like definitely a mom thing. I'm gonna portion this out and put it in the snack bin for days where I'm on the go. So something I picked up for Jake's lunch is the sour cream and onion popped potato crisps. He really, really loved the other ones that we, we got this before and he loved, loved, loved them. So I wanted to order them again for his lunches. And then in the last haul, I got him the barbecue ones, which he has been taking in his lunches and he likes them as well. So definitely highly recommend these potato crisps. Uh, everything that we have had crispy from them, whether it be a chip or a cracker, has been two thumbs up. The cookies and stuff like that, the sweet things, not as much for me at least, but everything cookie, everything crackery and crispy like that is the bomb. So I had to give the gluten-free lemon pound cake mix a try. We tried the gluten-free blueberry muffins and they are delicious, you guys. You would not know that they were gluten-free. Now, why would you necessarily go gluten-free unless you had to, but why would you have all the extra gluten carbs if you could have it another way? So I, we loved the blueberry muffins and I will get them over and over again. And that pizza crust mix is also gluten-free. So there's just something about brandless and whatever recipe that they have going on for their gluten-free items that is top notch. So if you are gluten-free, I definitely would give brandless a try because it seems to me that their gluten-free products are really good. Um, so I'm excited to try this lemon pound cake mix, but this will definitely be like a rainy day Sunday kind of thing. So I got a bag full of bottles and breakables here. Um, I actually like that they made sure to put all of that kind of breakable stuff at the bottom. And then they layered a bunch of this paper in between and then put the chips on top. So that was good. It was a good chance of everything like not being broken. I have... And normally I would say their packing is great, but uh, their last time I did have something that was like popped open and stuff like that. So, um, okay, so this, I'm, I'm so excited about this. Uh, this is peppercorn ranch dressing. So Jake really loves like a good peppercorn ranch. And I got him the little Hidden Valley cups from BJ's and he likes those and he's been enjoying taking those to school. They're already pre-portioned. But I had ordered this before I found that. So I was just going to pre-portion pre ranch for him myself. And this is the peppercorn ranch dressing. And we are always looking for like a non-GMO and good organic dressing. It's amazing what they will put in dressings if you actually read the ingredients. So I really hope that he likes this because I don't think $3 is bad for a good bottle like this. I mean, you pay to and change for him. And Valley or something like that. So if he likes this, that's going to be great because I will definitely portion that out for his lunches. Um, and then I ordered another peanut butter. I, I don't know how often I will get this peanut butter just because it is a pretty small container for $3. We just really liked it, you guys. It is two ingredients. It is peanuts and sea salt. That's it. Organic peanuts and sea salt. It is super delicious. And like I said, we really enjoy it, but the container is just kind of small. So depending on how often Jake takes something with peanut butter or the little kids eat the peanut butter, like it just might not be worth it for us, but well, we shall see. Um, and then, but then this, this to me is super worth it. So this is their strawberry fruit spread. It's organic and made with cane sugar and it's just strawberry jelly. But this is a huge jar, you guys, for $3. So I am very, very, very happy with this. The little kids like strawberry. Jake likes grape and they didn't have grape or I would have gotten that for him. Um, but the little kids love strawberry and we only have like a little tiny jar left. So that is super great. I'm excited about that. I did pick up a bag of raisins. Jake likes raisins and so do the little kids. So I thought these would be good to put on the side for lunches. Plus I'm still not sure when Mason's gonna be starting preschool, but I do think this would be a good idea for his lunch. So I picked up this 10 ounce bag of organic, no preservative raisins. 
So two more items that I needed. So this is just a package of the long grain brown rice. Last time I got white rice, so this time I needed the brown. Uh, we've really been enjoying their rice, so definitely a thumbs up for that. And then look at this, you guys. Light brown sugar, organic. That is a huge bag. It'll take me so long to go through this, but I was excited about brown sugar just because we use this in a lot of like baking for chocolate chip cookies and stuff like that. So I was excited about grabbing this. And the last two things in my box, you guys, last time I got the red kidney beans and they are delicious. So we really like them and I think a dollar a can is great. So $3, three cans all together. So this time I just got the three cans of the organic black beans. And then these are the cheese duck crackers. These are very similar to like a cheese it and or gold fish. And Jake likes to take those to school too. So we're going to portion these out and they are organic and made with real cheese. And it is a 5.5 ounce box, which I think is a pretty decent size for three bucks. I didn't get a free item this time. This time I actually used a promo code for $9 off. They sent me an email basically just saying like, hey, all of a sudden we got quick kind of fast and some of our products took a long time. I think I mentioned in my last haul that I waited for a couple of weeks for both of my boxes. They ended up coming very close together. I ordered them separate like far apart and it took them a long time to come as it was and then they both came like at the same time and it was really crazy and then one of my my hummus crisps were popped open I didn't even get a chance to write them before they wrote me an email and said hey we got big kind of fast things got a little crazy and out of hand we apologize we see that you had some delays in your orders let us do something nice for you and then they sent me nine dollars so instead of getting a free three dollar item I used the promo code and saved nine bucks. But if you guys are new or don't really know what Brandless is, they are just a online, organic, non-GMO company that has everything from food and beauty products to household cleaning products and nothing on the website is more than three dollars if you spend 39 dollars on their website you get free shipping which i think is awesome and they've been running a promo where each week you put in a promo code and you get a free item and if you use my link down below you also get six dollars off so 39 dollar order gets you free shipping six dollars off and a free item so you would pay 33 bucks out of pocket and get all of that good stuff. So I am in love with Brandless, you guys. I keep continuing to keep mentioning to you guys how much I love them just because I am finding so many products that they just, they nail it whatever that they're doing in their factory that's why they're getting big fast because word is spreading how amazing that they are so if you have not tried them again my link is in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys are new here to my channel hit that subscribe button and tap the bell like i said i'm gonna post a brand list once a month here on the channel for everybody else guys i love you so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys